Oh, I do apologize. Yes, do. Can you see through it at all? Yeah. How do you I, how do you are, navigate? There are ice bricks carved into it. They are very hard to see from the other side. Is there a hard court? Uh, <coughs> uh, maybe with sometime nah, tomorrow. It's, it's tomorrow. <sighs> Mr. McCormick. <sighs> McCromley. Sir? Sorry. What's the studies on Lady Blackwell's order? Me and the lad were working on it. The base is complete. If anything, we'll just need to basically know where to put it. I thought maybe turning over a log or two, I'd be able to find some bugs that I could throw on a hook, but I found one. Just let me know when it's done. I'll tell you the placement after. Hey, the last anything but the last finishing touching bits, so. Any good for, uh. What you have done seeing the fans anywhere? I have not, I'm afraid, no. Mm -hmm. Find her about the uh, terms of money at the moment. Maybe you might want to fish in the, uh, the tamer waters. I don't know, that's where I saw the, the fish. I didn't see anyone out of the lake. Mm. At some point. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I want you to sit down with the other carpenters and woodworkers and find out how much it would take for you to start on some of the newer houses. Hey, Mr. Harcourt. I can do that. I have an ungodly amount of boxes and barrels inside of the bailey. Take them apart and use the wood. There's rivets, there's metal, everything. Use it. Would you like to... I can use or uh, should I go sell these off to uh Miss Claire uh, when I see her? Talk to Miss Claire since she's the one that, that placed the order. Alright. I'll go find her. Um, last I know she was inside the house, but I don't know if she came back out or not. Then perhaps I should uh That we shall. We can just stand here ominously. Good day, gentlemen. Mr. Harcourt? Good day, Regent. If you'll excuse me. Mm. Hey. Mr. McCord, could I borrow you for a moment? Sure. You don't have to go anywhere, you can just stay here. I just want to ask a few questions, if you don't mind. Yeah, let's get out of the, uh, the main street, though. Would you like to go to the uh, tavern? Uh... Would that be a little too far? A little too far, let's just... We, just, we can yeah. just go off here to the side. If sure. Sure uh, thing. Wow, this building is a very empty. Except scary. for this so barrel. Kill somebody. You could probably, except for the uh, barrel, I suppose. Yeah. But if you wanted to, like, uh, thank bring goodness. somebody here and just, you know, end their life, this is the place to do it at. I suppose. Uh, who starts a conversation that, like that? Know, I just sat down. Have to. Well, listen. Sometimes a little bit of a different humor. You know, it's jarring to kind of, you know. I don't know. You seem very down, so. Mm -hmm. Like something shocking to kind of snap you off. Sure. 
I don't know, it worked for me before. I uh, appreciate So, first of all, I wanted to know, um, what is the deal with the, the wine? Am I gonna get paid for it, or was that accepted as a gift? How much was it? It was, uh, eight crowns. But, what if you make it a different deal? Instead of the, the crowns, you can tell me some information. Because I've been gone. Sure. Day. Depending on the information. Back and seeing, uh, well, I mean, as much as you can tell me, I suppose. Let's go with that. Is that fair? Sure. Little thing. Uh, could you tell me more about the merchant that moved in and kicked Miss Baymont out and potentially um, manhandled somebody? As <clears throat> much as you can tell me. Uh, as far as I'm aware, he is from the city with very powerful connections there. Uh, he and Miss Blackwell have really mm -hmm. hit it off. So they have secured a deal in which he will be uh, conducting his operations in this town. Which is good for us because it is our only source of income of products. Shipping in products from outside the town. He took a liking to Miss Belmont's shop. Miss Baymont's shop. And uh, so that means he's allowed to just uh, take it off her. And she's had to move somewhere else. Um, yeah. I suppose he's the same man that took a look into Ms. Burns' shop, so to say. So you try to take it off her. Miss Burns? As well? Ms. Burns, yeah. Pretty sure you've seen her around. Uh, One lady walking around with a tattered dress and a few more holes than before. Uh, Tears doesn't, in her eyes. Doesn't ring a bell. I wasn't aware of that. Mm. Well, I'm just curious. Seems like the father, um, the one exactly the answer that one. Just trying to figure out who it is. I don't know. He seems he important, name. and he's. Uh, I heard it once, but I don't remember it. I just call him sir. I can get away with that. Mm. What uh, what kind of goods is he selling? Do you know? From what I've heard. According to his connections, pretty much anything. He basically is going to be dictating what's coming into the city. Well, oh, into the town, sorry. And that is with um, Miss uh, Blackwell's blessing, assuming. If it could be more than a blessing, I'm sure it would be. He acts on her authority, basically. Well, I suppose, lady. Do you by any chance know how they know each other? Maybe overheard something? No, no idea on that one. I assume they just... Well, this same uh, merchant was in the town a couple months back. So I guess that's when they met. Mr. Oliver, can we help you? Right, sorry to interrupt, but um, I was told by someone from over by the manor there was a rat trouble. I just need to actually find it for myself and allow permit it's inside. Yep. Um, sure. Anything else, Mr. McCarvey? Would you like to accompany us? Uh, nope. Actually, why not? I don't got much to do for the day. <sighs> do you want those eight <sighs> crowns? Um, no, nah, it's okay. Yeah, I think they... What you told me is payment enough. Sure. Shall we then, gentlemen? Right. Wait. Right, um, fucking head. If you see the region, you two go on ahead. I need uh, right. to get some get... Oh, work is taking him. The region is uh, by the church. He's uh, He's spending a bit of time. There. I'll speak to him currently. later. Right, well. well, when you see him, you can tell him the uh, order from the lady. It's been done. Right, he has to decide where it's going to be placed, I guess. Where he wishes it to be placed, we just we have it in our in our workshop. Understood. I'll uh, let him know. After I show you what's going on here, um, I'll let him know, and he can figure out where he wants it placed. Him before I do. 
point her in my direction. Right, Doc. Um, this is the storehouse. Apparently, there has been a bit of an infestation of rats um, through the floorboards and some gaps in the walls. So, I suppose if you could take a look around, figure out what you would need, and then, uh, yeah. Alright, I will guess I will call a DM for this, I think. DM on station, what do you need? So, I have been informed that there is a issue with some of the flooring here because of a rat infestation. I want to see what kind of damages there are and what would it take to repair. It is very dim down here. The only light you can currently see right now is flooding in, bouncing down the stairwell from this, the windows upstairs. You may need to bring in more light and check again. You wouldn't happen to have a, a candle? Uh, uh, I'll grab one. One moment. Right. I'm not going to stay down in the dark. <sighs> Mr. Oliver? Right. Thank you. In fact, it's probably better if you hold it since you're the one looking. Right. Alright, let's take a look here. down low examining the uh, wooden flooring and uh, looking for signs of pest infestation. You can see that the, the wood here is it's old, um, it's uh, below ground and so there's a little bit more moisture here than it would be otherwise. It's cool, uh, makes it a good storeroom, but it also means that uh, the, the wood will also sometimes pick up a little bit of rot. Um, and so here along the seam lines, you can see some spots where, yeah, there, there might be some worth in doing some repairs, but it doesn't look like anything where a rat would necessarily come in. Until you get to the back corner. Can, can you guys, yeah, pull the DM aside? Yeah, but it would temporarily Sorry, be yeah. undersigned of hello. Yeah, you're, you're fine. Oh. You're fine. 
So, uh, yeah, so when you get back into, as you're examining, you get back to that back corner there where that lone chest is uh, stored, which is, I apologize, right over here. Uh, is where you actually see signs of more recent damage. Mm -hmm. Well, over here. Seems like this is the issue. Can it be fixed? Good question. What's the severity of the wood? It looks like it has been chewed and scratched. Um, it looks like a couple of the planks have been uh, damaged, but it's small damage. It's uh, it's the size of a, a rat's body. If they can fit their head through somewhere, they can squeeze their fat little bodies through. Um, and so the hole is small, and it looks like it took advantage of uh, a natural kind of bow of the wood away from the uh, the stone wall for them to dig their way up. Uh, underneath the floor here, um, there are flagstones that have been set, but then most of the floor is dirt. So your guess is, is that it must have dug its way up and then crawled along the way to get here, um, where it would have to chew its way through the solid wood floor planks, at least through a, a section of it. Uh, in order to get up into this area here. It looks a little old, though, is one thing you note. It doesn't look like it's happened in the last few days or, or maybe in the last week. Hmm. This here has been... This looks like it's been here for a while now. Is that it so? doesn't look recent. Oh, see here... You can tell when wood is freshly destroyed. The smell as well. Uh, this has been happening a little longer than you think. Hmm. So, what is it? Replace the f couple of floorboards, or what do we need to do? Uh, I can replace the planks. That's an easy thing. I'm gonna have to gather more lumber. I recommend the moment grabbing something and plugging the hole in until we have something ready for it. So, is there anything nearby you can make sure it's firmly shut? Like this chest here? Sure, let's uh, push the chest over it. Hopefully it doesn't pull through it. All right, I will make sure. Just help it with you. All right, sliding. This will be a temporary thing. Obviously, we're not going to... Sure, yeah. And uh, what sort of uh, time line are we looking to get it fixed? By tomorrow, you think, or tomorrow morning? I can get this done as soon as we can. I just need to grab the lumber for planks. Um, we can work out a payment after it's all said and done. Sure, yeah. The regent can front us the bill. You sure? Right. Um, I'll oh, leave God, it. You're still here. You're still here. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you for... Uh, of course. Right. I'll leave that here with you. I'll leave the door unlocked so you can come and go as you need to uh, get it fixed. Then uh, come and find either me or the regent to uh, let us know when you're done, and then we'll figure out payment. Right. I appreciate the work, Mr. Oliver. Call me Simon. Doesn't really... Mr. Simon. Not really a mister. I'm still young. Master Simon. Yeah. Not a master, I'm just an apprentice. Apprentice Simon. You're busting my balls, kid. <laughs> Alright. If you excuse me, I need to find the regent before he wanders off into the woods again. Oh, well, he does that too. <laughs> yeah. I feel for you. Yeah, whatever. Uh, somebody 
somebody, there's like a girl in the middle of the road, like panting and having a moment, and Mr. my Rick. hands are full, and I shouldn't touch another woman because it's my wife. Hey, I'm in charge. There's a lady having a panic attack in the middle of the street. That seems like you're okay, Mr. Rick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Catch you later. Boy, where's your brother? I, I just asked something, and I, I just, I, I, it's okay, I'm fine. <sighs> Would you like me to help you to the tavern? Right? Mr. Ake, what seems to be the problem? <laughs> so, they just excited me, that's all. I, it's, it was nothing. Where were you on your way to? <sighs> I was, I was going to see what, um... As at the tavern, um, I was gonna see what find the apothecary's assistant. Oh, good. Sir. Please escort Miss Drake to the tavern to a seat. Miss Drake. Come find me after. Alright. It's okay. I got. I... I would like to insist. <laughs> she grabs a cup. Thank you. Um, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Of course. Let's proceed. Um, so you just collapsed? I... I saw something that just took the money a bit, that's all. You saw something. Like? Uh, the, I think, before it, it happened, I think, I, I think this Alabard was injured. Miss Drake, did Mr. Solo by chance catch you? No, he hasn't. He's by his clinic, if you could visit him. That's all he asks of me. Let's uh, get you in here, I and guess. I can get him to come to you. Save you the walk. Unless you're right. feeling spry enough. No, uh, sitting down would be helpful. Of course. If you could, I'd really appreciate that. Take a seat, Miss Drake. Alright. Well, my door was locked and closed. I guess I have to repeat that into calm. I will knock then. Knocking on the door. Oh. Oops. Tavern's locked, it seems. Alright. <laughs> I guess I guess we can head to that door. <sighs> Yeah, I don't know how my head. <laughs> Ow. Uh, eyeballs. <laughs> Miss Drake, if you can Good hear man. me. Yeah. Whoa. Yes, there we go. Headache, Ooh, I'm back. Miss Drake. Shall we? Mm, I can hear you. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. There's no step here. Oh my god. <sighs> Try not to think about it. <laughs> I <laughs> Nothing? Yep. 
Hey, you better know. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, there we are. Nope. What? Just, okay, let's just, uh... How about you walk and I'll be with you, huh? Okay. That sounds good. Yep. I want to do that before the strategy is happening every day. Catch a break. <sighs> I'm just kind of... Fucking headaches. I'm so sorry, Mr. Cord. Hang in there, buddy. I'm gonna shoot myself in the forehead. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry you deal with all this. With, uh, with a blunderbuss. Please get a blunderbuss. Miss Drake. Uh, thank you. Do you remember that way? <laughs> I'm afraid I'm, I forgot. This way. Thank you. I don't know why, but my head is really strange today. Two, one, two, three. Uh, Thank you, Nathaniel. I'll be okay. Yeah, Very good. So, Let me know if you need anything else. I'll be around. Come out first. There we go. Oh, that's strange. Where you are? Where you are? Anyone? <sighs> Thank you. Mr. McCord, welcome back from the warp. I like your crut, G. No. Thank you. It's fine. Mm. Nathaniel, have you seen the farmer around anywhere? The farmer? Uh, no, not recently. Mm hmm. Apologies. Alright, never mind, thank you. I can help you with Mr. Red Creek. Anything. Come on. Add to my add to my task list. I have nothing that I'm not trying to do myself. Uh, excuse me, is the region out that way? Uh, not a clue. 
The regent's in his manor, lad. Thank you. If he comes in and makes demands, I have to support him. You cannot resist him. I can butt heads with him. You can't. something you're gonna cause more trouble so having her ask my place is causing more trouble just putting a friend up instead of having her stay at an inn you understand that she is going to be hunted by him when he wants something and the only shield she has is me <laughs> Do you think I have any control in this situation? Begged this man to come and give this dust. The Lady Blackwell is right. Maybe I have been this me. Cannot have. The town's starting to be no now to do whatever the fuck they please. And the instructions I've been given by the Lady Blackwell is to ensure that they are happy no matter what. Because this town and the people in it will not survive without what he brings. To ensure this gets done, Miss Mackenzie, an assistant has been hired. One from the city. They'll be here to watch what I do. So if you think at all, by any means, that any of this is happening because I want it to, or that I have any control over it anymore, I don't. The best I can do is pick and choose my battles and stand my ground where I can. He'll get what's coming to him. <sighs> if she wants to oh, hide at what? your place, she can. It will just be for the night. If that's what you wish. To if she wants to stay there, that's fine. She's a servant here. I know, she told she me. She stunts. She's a servant here. She doesn't have to live here. She could stay wherever she damn well pleases. She'd rather stay with you than fun. <clears throat> Sorry if for you wasting your time. For anything, I trust Mr. McCord. You can trust him too. I am. Sorry for, um. <clears throat> right. If that prick comes anywhere near your home to get to her, you get me at once. Understood. 
Do you understand me? I do, sir. I do. I was thinking that brandy that you like. Sir Oliver informed me that the uh, good lady's order has been re well, finished and they're waiting for you to figure out where to put it. Sir? I'm more liable to be poisoned. Not when I'm pouring the drink, sir. You wouldn't know if it was already in the tonic, boy. Hmm. I've already been told today to beware of angering an apothecary because they can make poison. <laughs> Um, Mr. Oliver has been looking at the storehouse. We found where the rats are coming from, and he's repairing that as we speak. Just so you're aware. Everything the town needs, but it's obviously a piece of <coughs> piece of shit. We've survived up until this point without the merchant, sir. And things steadily got worse and worse and worse, Mr. McCord. May I? When the McCartneys died last winter. <coughs> So I knew things got bad enough. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> uh, may I, sir? Don't have to ask, Nathaniel. Pays to be sure sometimes. seems like every time a small fire is dealt with, another one starts. The plague might have come back with some of the people we sent to Landry. <laughs> Doesn't that swell? <laughs> and our apothecary's been moved to a different residence, and we'll take some time to... Thankfully, she's working on the clinic. Yeah. Are our people infected? How do we know that it came back? Because Landry's dealing with the devil's fever. And some of the livestock are showing signs. Uh. It's not a certainty, but it's what it looks like. keep thinking of a way to win this, but there doesn't seem to be a solution. <laughs> win this? What well, do you mean, win this? Get through it, survive, not have half our town turn on the other half. <laughs> they're not gonna turn on each other. Mr. McCord, they're going to turn on me. Why aren't you dealing with the merchant? Why are you letting him get away with this? Why are you letting him take our homes? Why are you letting him take our jobs? Why are you allowing him to do this, that, and the third? Because it comes from the Lady Blackwell, and I serve the Lady Blackwell. Hmm. I guess it's hard for them. They don't see how hard you work behind closed doors and... Navigate tricky terrain. I doubt any of them could do as well as you have, sir. You don't know what you're talking about, boy. Sir? By any stretch of the imagination, you think I'm a good man, you're wrong. I don't know you as a person deeply I can see the actions you do I can see you're trying to save this town and I can see that you care about the people <coughs> I don't know what you've done in the past or every thought that goes in your head but I see the actions that you're trying to do I think you're trying takes is one mistake. Mm. One mistake. And it doesn't matter how much you repent. It doesn't matter how much you pray. You'll still be a sinner. That's part of what confuses me about this, is how can things be so cut and dry sometimes, but not other times? You're asking the wrong man. It's why I'm not so quick to punish those who are not as faithful. I 
because I have questions of my own that have never been answered. Hmm. Well, I can relate to you on that, I suppose. Not down the open, you can. No, of course. Evening. Cedric. Mr. Faulkner. Yes. The region. Nothing. How's the foot, Cedric? It's fine. Be a fresh bandage wrap on his hand. Does that mean uh, Mr. Sallow isn't completely packed out like he was when I was there last? Uh, no, everybody has been treated or cleared out. Very good. I might have to visit soon then. Her? I I think I misheard you, sir. I said I need to go put Miss Brent in the stockade. Ah, uh, oh, I didn't mishear you. Did she do something wrong? She left church too early. to go. Very well. I have ensured I will not drop anything. <coughs> no Mr. key Clyde. shall be lost. Virgin. That is very good. Hmm. <coughs> stand, please meet with me. For uh, something. Do you know where the carpenters are? The carpenters. Somewhere off in that direction. I haven't seen them since. Do you know what the carpet You should have been in doing a store right as he was out. Thank you, Got that done quite early. Miss McKenzie. I, I know it's an immodest proposal, but I think... 
Ben. I... That's kind of fucked up, Ben. You don't... You don't need to what say all that. Incredibly holy what? Still soft and tender. Like veal. You're, you're talking about Miss Nina. Maybe. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, don't worry about it, Mrs. Drake. We just um. Fucking. <clears throat> we were just in. Why are we talking about cannibalism? God oh, damn it, Greg! Okay. He started. <laughs> I'm still wondering how do we get here? It was an <laughs> immodest proposal. We were talking about we went from getting a better shirt to cannibalism. Since you're so fucking big, you're first. <laughs> that happened. You could feed the whole town. I don't know. It'd be awful it's tough. It's like trying to bring down a Feeling all better, Mr. Yeah. That's fine. This is very you know mean. How the, the oldest. Is it? What was that? I'm Are you sorry, feeling I didn't better? hear that. I think Will, I think he I wants to be all choke up. on me and eat me. There'll <laughs> <laughs> be nothing but gristle. Um, hold it up. Conversation we have been I think this conversation needs to end here for me. Yeah, it's, been, <laughs> it's been a difficult past couple of days. I'm gonna go back and run the dark and uh, try not to die. Maybe uh, take the load off your feet. You you sit down okay. by a fireplace, have a drink or two. Yeah. Have a good yeah. Night, guys. Oh, Excuse me. Is it closed? I, for a game. For a game. Alright, I want to play this time. I'm gonna make a set of hands. So. Uh, Lord Regents, do you have any uh, needs for the guilds tonight? Actually, I do. Come with me. Understood. Oh, yes, the candle. Yes. I can't forget the candle. Don't forget your candle. It is what it is. Mr. Harcourt, you were looking for me? Help Mr. Oliver move. Bring it in front of the church. Of course. Of course. No problem at all. I'll just close him by the way. I want that leveled out to a small little platform. Yeah. Right for now. Stockade up. Let's. Hmm. Hmm. Should hold this for me. Do we have any shovels? I got a bitch for it. It's not what I need, you lot. Small little platform. You'll be dirty. Ah. with me. If you're unaware, <clears throat> as part of the guild, for leaving the church service early and disrespecting both the church, the father, and Lady Blackwell, Miss Brent is being punished and put inside of the stockade for the evening to think about what she's done and her sins. This stockade will be out in front of the church. She's to stay there. 
from the point of everyone going to sleep to when everyone wakes out here. Now, what I would like from the guild <coughs> is to keep watch over the area, make sure no animals come and take advantage of that situation. You understand me? Hmm. <laughs> you do not talk to them. You're not there to socialize. They pay their penance, you keep watch and make sure no animals do any ill. And that's that. You understand me? Yes, sir. Hi. Good. It will be done. Good. We'll be protected. Good. Go over and get yourself acquainted with the area and whatever you need to be able to be comfortable throughout the night. Right. I'll be coming out to check on you myself periodically. Your sleep is more important, sir. I can't fucking sleep. Don't worry about that. <laughs> it's nice to know I'm not the only one. I haven't slept for a while. <clears throat> Don't think about it the too much. The guild will be... The guild will be watching over you in shifts. Brother Andrew refuses to let you sit through this by yourself. And also believed it was a heavy-handed punishment. So I'll be watching over you as well. That freak thinks this is a heavy-handed punishment. Don't even look yes. at me like that. The brother does think it was heavy-handed. That is more bizarre than anything I've heard. He gives me the... I don't know. Probably just biased. Get some drinks in here before this time. I already did, don't worry about that. I'm fine. I was ready an hour ago. Could have locked me up early. Made sure to help love with Mr. Harcourt. Good. Well, it's... Well, as long my as the stockade is stable. stable. Should be. Thank you, Mr. Clive. Alright. You gonna be alright? Probably a little sore in the morning, who knows. Brother cussing I'll stop by. You act like it's my funeral or something. No, it ain't a funeral. Tomorrow morning, I would appreciate it if along with Brother Andrew. Since you will be up and about before anyone else is with the church. So I hit and sure that's Miss Brent is released from the stockade at first light. First light, as you wish, my lord. Uh, well, I'll, uh, is there a key that we need or anything of sorts? Mr. Oliver has the key, feeling that, Mr. McCrobley. Very good. I'll make sure to call around him first thing tomorrow morning. Uh, thank you for trusting me with this, uh, Lord Regent. If anyone has asked, Mr. Cossington, Miss Brent is to contemplate her disrespect of the Father and the Church by departing sermon early during a ritual. It's obvious. Ah. Uh, very wise indeed. Right. Um, in that case, I'm sure that this will set a stern example. And very good that you're watching over us all. And uh, keep your faith, as it were. Well, I'll, uh, blood I'll blood, keep... Blood for blood, Mr. Cossington. Blood for blood indeed. Keep your eyes sharp. 
Nice call, oh, Lieutenant really good. Things gotta get worse before they get better. <clears throat> As it stands, Miss Brent. Once everyone retires for the evening, you will come here and present yourself. Understand? Hey there, Regent. Yes, Mr. Sewell. <laughs> You'll have to understand, she's a good friend of mine. Can I know the finer details? <clears throat> the Lady Blackwell was displeased with her departing of the church during a ceremony. Consider it disrespect of the church and the father himself. It's a bit harsh. Yeah. Regent! Oh, good. We have a problem. What? Lucas hired me for a job to go into the swamps. Foolish. Something grabbed him. He's gone. He's missing. There's blood. Grabbed. We need to form a search party. A search party. The forager. Yes. They grabbed him. We need to forge. It just I means mean, you want people grab. Please ensure that oh, Miss Brent comes right this back. way before she sinks to the gate. Doctor, sure. you need to see his brother. He's been bit by the, just a turtle on the hill. Mr. Wylock. He's been bleeding. Mr. Wylock, calm yourself. We'll see to it. There's nothing the tempers That's or concerns high risen will do for us. Form a party and we'll search. Now, right. this is what I need from you. Every able body that won't be an issue, like, don't bring someone who won't do well on the search party, have them meet us out front the Bailey. Six people most, maybe seven. Understood. I'll get searching. I'll come with you shortly. Party? What happened? <coughs> I think it might have been a wolf attack. Oh, shit. Not gonna make you come on this one, boy. Uh, Should stay here in town. Are you sure, sir? What are you going to do? I don't know. Here or over there? <coughs> I've been having a search party over there, ain't that right? Right. Miss Brent. Hmm. It seems that the forester Lucas was grabbed by something and someone else was bitten and injured. Mr. Whitelock was frantic about it. You know the woods better than most. Yeah. Especially in the swamps. Come on. Uh, yeah, she's let the me best. see the bite yeah. real quick. Hold on. I'd rather have him on the table first, Brent. Not to be, not to be rude. Uh, I'll look at it later. You lead. You lead. 
Did anybody get that a good look at his bite? What did it look like? Here's your, Fuck, here's your candle back. I, I gotta go talk to the doctor hospital. first, and then I'll head straight out. Hi. Double Can't time, please, Miss Brent. Looks like an animal bite, Hunter. Mr. Clive. A turtle, right. I don't know. Wait for me at the entrance by the bailey. Right. There's no purpose for you to come. What is all this racket about? I won't stop if you want to, but I don't think it's a good idea. Very good, sir. Young. Regents, I'm with you if you need. The young boy who um had bumped into you. You are needed. Wait at the Understood. front of the bailey. I'll get my compatriots. Understood. That's a shame. But why all this racket? Um, because uh, his brother came back quite injured, so. Just a little. It's gone missing over in the swamps. Literally. Want to take it? I'll leave my hands free just in case. He's already being taken care of. All right then, Mr. McCord. The problem I've had is that he's missing. Right, the young see not wise enough to stay in town at the pitch black of night and has gone missing. Don't should be in give the on lies that Right, the young boy was not wise enough to stay in town at the pitch black of night. Seeing as your recent apothecary left many furniture items within there, and while attempting to rearrange them myself, an accident happened. 